हेलो एवरीबडी सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विथ आवर फ्यूल टॉपिक्स विच इज़ यूनिट टू बी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री एंड अंडर दिस टॉपिक इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव डिफाइंड व्हाट इज़ अ फ्यूल व्हाट आर द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ गुड फ्यूल एंड द क्लासिफिकेशन अंडर द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फ्यूल्स वी हैव डेल्ट विद द सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गेशियस फ्यूल्स द प्राइमरी फ्यूल्स एंड द सेकेंडरी फ्यूल्स एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव डेल्ट विद द कैलरिफिक वैल्यू under the calorific value we have dealt with uh, the gross calorific value and the net calorific value and uh, we have also uh, uh, explained the uh, design the construction and the working of a bomb calorimeter and uh, in today's lecture we will be dealing with how to calculate the uh, the uh, gross calorific value in fact how we how will we derive the gross calorific value of a solid or liquid fuel from the bomb calorimeter now let x be the mass of fuel sample taken in the crucible and let let x be in grams and uh, the weight of the water that is placed inside the calorimeter meter that is capital w grams and uh, the water equivalent of the calorimeter stirrer bomb thermometer etc that will be equal to the mass of the uh, apparatus into the specific heat of the apparatus and that is equal to w dash that is capital w dash into capital s and where s is the specific heat of the apparatus now the rise in the temperature that is the final temperature of the water uh, inside the calorimeter minus the initial temperature of water placed inside the calorimeter that will be equal to the delta t and the the uh, unit used is degree centigrade and the capital l that is gross calorific value of the fuel that is in calories per gram and the capital s is the specific heat so what is the heat liberated uh, during the combustion of the fuel that is uh, the uh, x that is uh, the weight of the fuel taken in the calorimeter into the capital l that is the gross calorific value and this x into l is the calories now heat absorbed by the water that means some amount of heat that is liberated uh, from the fuel burning is absorbed by the water and that will be equal to the weight of the water taken in the calorimeter into specific heat uh, capacity of the water into the delta t and the unit is calories now some amount of heat uh, is also absorbed by the apparatus itself that is equal to the weight of the apparatus that is the capital w dash into the specific heat of the apparatus into delta t calories so that means uh, according to the principle of calorimeter we know that the heat liberated by the burning of the fuel that will be equal to heat absorbed by the water and the apparatus so that means x into l that will be equal to uh, capital capital w plus capital w dash into delta t into the specific heat capacity so where capital w is the uh, weight of the uh, water placed inside the calorimeter and uh, capital w dash is uh, the weight of the apparatus and uh, t2 is the final temperature of the water with placed inside the calorimeter and its unit is degree centigrade and t1 is the initial uh, temperature in degree centigrade so that means l that is the gross calorific value of the fuel that will be uh, uh, is equal to the uh, high calorific value or hcv that will be equal to gross calorific value or gross uh, gcv so that means in some textbooks we are using the gross calorific value of fuel as hcv and in some textbooks they are using gcv so whatever it is the gross calorific value of the fuel that will be equal to w plus w dash into delta t whole divided by x and this is nothing but the unit is used as calories per gram now this is the cross calorific value of the fuel now how to calculate the low calorific value the low calorific value is equal to the hcv minus uh, 9 divided by 100 into h into 587 so this uh, uh, this has been already derived in our previous lecture and uh, 9 divided by 100 into hydrogen this is the hydrogen uh, that is present in the in any solid fuel or liquid fuel and 587 is the uh, latent heat of condensation of steam so this uh, value has to be subtracted from the gross calorific value to get the low calorific value and the unit used is calories per gram 
Now let us uh, solve one numerical based on the calorific value or based on the uh, derivation that we have uh, derived for the gross calorific value. So on burning 0.83 grams of a solid fuel in a bomb calorimeter, the temperature of water inside the calorimeter increased from 25.5 degree centigrade to 29.2 degree centigrade. And the weight of the water that is placed inside the bomb calorimeter that is taken as 3500 grams. Now the water equivalent of the calorimeter that is equal to 385 grams and the latent heat of condensation of steam that is 587 calories per gram. So if the fuel is containing 0.7% hydrogen, calculate the GCV and the NCV of the fuel. So the, how to solve this? We know that the formula of GCV that we have uh, uh, derived is the weight of the water placed inside the calorimeter plus the weight of the apparatus that means 3500 plus 385 and uh, th this has to be multiplied with the rise in temperature the rise in temperature is the final temperature minus the initial temperature that is 29.2 degree centigrade minus 25.5 degree centigrade and this entire thing has to be divided with 0.83 this is the weight of the fuel taken in the calorimeter so that means the gross calorific value that is determined or calculated and the value determined is 17,318.6 calories per gram. Now let us come to the NCV or the net calorific value. So we have to subtract 9 divided by 100 into the latent heat of condensation of steam that is 587 calories per gram into the percentage of hydrogen in the fuel. So the percentage of hydrogen in the fuel is 0.7. So we have to multiply 0 0.09 into 587 into 0 0.7 and this the value has to be subtracted from 17,318.6 and the ultimate value that we are getting is 17,281.6 calories per gram. Now certain corrections have to be incorporated into the uh, theoretical value of gross calorific value. So uh, what are the corrections that we have to insert? Now the, the following corrections have to be inserted. That is one is the fuse wire correction. So now we know that we are using a, a magnesium fuse wire uh, and we have explained this in the during the design and the construction of the bomb calorimeter. So when the fuel starts to burn, the fuse wire that also starts to catch fire and that ignites and that also le leads to the liberation of heat. So that means the heat that is liberated, uh, th that is included uh, in the gross calorific value. So that means the total heat that is liberated uh, uh, due to the burning of the fuel that gets added up. That means the heat that is liberated by the ignition of the fuse wire that gets included in the total heat that is liberated due to the burning of the fuel. So that means this heat that is called as the fuse wire correction that has to be subtracted from the gross calorific value. Now the second type of correction is the acid correction. We know that uh, fuels uh, they contain carbon and hydrogen that means they are hydrocarbons uh, but besides carbon and hydrogen some fuels they may contain sulfur and nitrogen. Now if uh, uh, the, uh, the sulfur gets uh, during the combustion of the fuel, the sulfur also burns to give rise to sulfuric acid and the nitrogen burns to give rise to nitric acid. So these reactions are exothermic that means they liberate heat during the burning of the fuel and this includes this, this measured heat gets included in the heat that is liberated from the fuel and this type of heat is called as acid correction and that has to be subtracted from the total value. Now the third type of correction is the cooling correction. Now we know that the uh, calorimeter that is uh, uh, the final temperature of the calorimeter is T2 degree centigrade and uh, this final temperature is because of the heat absorbed by the uh, by the water and due to the burning of the fuel. So what happens is that the calorimeter uh, it come, when it comes down to cool to, to room temperature that means uh, what happens is that some amount of heat that is liberated by the fuel that gets absorbed by the 
water to come down to room temperature. So that means this uh, temperature or the, the time is recorded and this has to be multiplied by the rate of cooling. So that means this is called as the cooling correction and the cooling correction is added to the rising temperature. Now the fourth point is the cotton thread correction. We know that uh, uh, in some uh, uh, bomb calorimeters a cotton thread is used for igniting the fuel. So that means during the burning of the fuel the cotton thread catches fire and that also starts igniting and the, during this process of uh, combustion the, uh, the certain amount of heat is liberated and that gets added to the gross calorific value. So this type of correction that is cotton thread correction has to be subtracted from the total heat. So that means let us come to the uh, uh, the uh, uh, final gross calorific value taking into account the corrections. So that means the gross calorific value is equal to W that is capital W plus the that is the weight of the water placed inside the calorimeter plus the weight of the calorimeter itself into delta T that is the rise in temperature and the cooling correction is added to the rise in temperature and and the acid correction, the fuse wire correction and the cotton thread correction, all these three corrections, they are subtracted from these values. And that, that means the entire thing is now divided with the weight of the fuel. So that is the value of gross calorific value. Now let us solve a numerical based on this uh, corrected values of gross calorific value. So a sample of coal containing 89% carbon, 8% hydrogen and 3% ash. Now when this coal was tested in the laboratory for its calorific value in the bomb calorimeter, the following data was obtained. So weight of the coal bunt is 0.85 grams, weight of water is 650 grams, water equivalent of the bomb calorimeter is 2500 grams, the rise in temperature is 2.5 degrees centigrade. The cooling correction is 0 0.03 degree centigrade. The fuse wire correction is 10 calories. The acid correction is 50 calories. Assuming the latent heat of condensation of steam to be 580 calories per gram, calculate the gross calorific value and the low calorific value of the coal in calories per gram. So this is our problem and we have to now use the uh, uh, modified gross calorific value formula that is the weight of the water placed inside the calorimeter plus the weight of the apparatus uh, multiplied by uh, we have to add the cooling correction that is 0 0.03 degree centigrade to the rise in temperature and then we have to subtract the uh, fuse wire correction and the acid correction from this value. So that means 650 plus 2500 uh, into 2.5 plus 0 0.03 uh, and minus 10 plus 50. This entire thing has to be divided with 0.85 uh, that is the uh, weight of the sample of coal taken and the value of GCV obtained is 9305.29 calories per gram. Now during the calculation of the low calorific value we have to multiply 0 0.09 into 8. 8 is nothing but the percentage of hydrogen. So 0 0.09 into 8 into 580. 580 is the latent heat of condensation of steam. This is already given in this numerical. So we have to multiply 0 0.09 into 8 into 580 and the entire thing has to be subtracted from the gross calorific value that is 9305.29 and we get a value of triple eight seven point six nine calories per gram as your low calorific value. So this is all about uh, the numericals, the derivation of the gross calorific value, the low calorific value and the numericals are an important part of this uh, fuel topics. So I hope you have understood the concepts and I hope you can solve the numericals based on this uh, formulas. Thank you for listening to me.